Hello, welcome to a new program that I've got here uh, called Adobe Substance 3D Sampler. So what this is, is it's a program that can actually tell any picture you have into like a textured like patch or, you know, something you might put on like a bag, you know, like sew onto a bag or something like that. And I wanted to show you a little demonstration here. Okay, so what I wanted to do, this is my logo, obviously. And I thought, why don't I turn this? This is just like a flat image, like with two colors in it. And what I thought I would try is to just use this. So let's get rid of that. You see you get this menu and you can do like different things here. And we're going to do a bitmap image. It says one color, but there's two. So I don't know why I called it that really. So now once you've imported it, then you're going to want to turn it into what's called an embroidery pattern. And this is embroidery. So what you have to do is you drag the embroidery over here and you put it on top like that. And you can see we've got like some tiling of this plane here. So we might not want it to look quite like that. Uh, so what you have to do then is you go to your viewer settings. And if you go down, you see you've got a texture scale. You want to put that down to one and that you, where you only have one. And you see also we're looking at the plane. So for instance, if we wanted to, to appear on a cube, we could do that. You can see it's going to be on the cube. And if you actually look at what's happened, if we just go into detail, you can see, you look there, you can see this is like a textured fabric. It's like a towel, it looks like, which is pretty cool. And you could do all different ones, actually. Oh, wow. So yeah, it's pretty cool stuff you can do, actually. I mean, that already looks like quite a cool t-shirt, actually. I can put it on a shoe. This is obviously like, uh, well, that was the t-shirt, actually. What we got? Uh, what is that? So there's a bunch of cool stuff you can, anyway, this is kind of uh, this. But yeah, anyway, I think we're just going to leave it on a cube. We could just leave it on a plane, actually. I would just leave it on a plane. There's no, there's no like benefit really to putting it on a cube because it's such a simple, like basic thing to do this. Okay, so once you've got that, once you've got there, like what you can do is you can actually start to look. If you look close up in the fabric, the first thing you want to do is you want to count the, the first thing you want to do is count the number of colors. So you can see this input one and it goes all the way down to five. And that's thinking, and that's because it thinks that there's five colors there, but there's actually only two colors, right? So that is not good. So what you need to do is here where it says color count, uh, you put it on two. Okay, so it actually already looks better, right, than it did before. And that's because it was thinking there were five colors, so it was taking loads of like little imperfections and stuff. Now, if you want to look at some of the other embroidery features, you see in this section, right, embroidery scale, thread scale, length, right? So we go like, so we want to look at some of that. You see, you can change the scale. So that's not bad, right? If you do the scale really low, it kind of looks interesting. I kind of like that, the body scale really low. It does have like some weird things where like this is like a square and like it's all like all the threading is going like in the wrong directions. There is actually something you can do for that as well. So we've got underneath where it says the thread imperfections. So you've got color one, color two. So this corresponds obviously to white and black, right? So we go down here. So you've got orientation mode. And see, that looks better, right? Uh, so on the white, it, it, the black still looks wrong. Uh, I'll just show you the other modes as well, why not? No. No. So linear looks good. So I think probably I'll just do linear on the black as well. It might be good. So let's do color two now. And we'll go to orientation mode and linear. Let's try it. Okay, so that looks much better. So even that, from that point, I mean, that is literally like a fabric version of of, of what the uh, what my logo is, right? So that's actually kind of really fun to look at. Uh, but there's actually even more stuff you can do, which is also kind of cool and actually quite kind of simple as well to do. 
and we'll go to that now. So, so the next thing you can do is really, really cool is, you see here it's got this like, this uh, dotted box here. What you can actually do is you can then replace like whatever you want with, so I'll just go back, if I just, if you just click, in general, if you just click on the button, if, if the menu is out like this, you just click on the button, it will go away. So we just go back here and we'll go to Star Assets. You can see we've got a bunch of different materials and we can put any any of them in, right? So let's think about what material might be good here. We've also got filters and stuff. Let's do materials first though. So what about like we could do snow for the white and then steel for the black. That might be quite fun. And it's just as simple as you just get your thing here and you just put it in the box. So you can see that, and let's put on steel for the black one. So you can see that already gives you like a completely different effect, right? Let's try Terrazzo on the white, maybe. Okay, we'll maybe put that with Slate. Let's try it with Slate here. That's not a bad effect, right? Change the stone roughness. Let's go to one. What is it, zero? Kind of like that. Change the color of it as well. Here's the color pickup. Okay, so I like that on the slate. Now if we go to the Terrazzo. Uh, so the preset is this one, I guess, right? Yeah. So you've got a few other presets for Terrazzo. Let's try a red one. Not bad. Not bad. That's more in keeping with the original thing, right? Let me change the scale here. So we do that on the scaling. Concrete. What does this mean? I'm not sure. Oh, so that actually changes the... I actually really like that colour that I randomly chose. So yeah, pretty amazing, like, the stuff you can do, right? And obviously you could export this. And we've also got this environment setting. We could try changing that. Kind of like that. You see, if we click here on the crop tool, it's also just. See, I've just uh, done that. Let me just go back. You see, because I did. I, you may be wondering if I'd noticed that, and I did. Just because there was a little bit of a, a problem here. There is a little bit of a problem here as well, but. But yeah, really cool way though. I don't wonder if you look at it underneath. So it's just a flat surface, right? With height zero, I guess. Why don't we try and put it on a cylinder, how that would look? So yeah, yeah, orthographic perspective, how does that change things? So 
So the texture scale, you can change it in this menu, but it also looks like you can change it over in the tiling menu here. You can see that does the same thing, doesn't it? But yeah, really, really cool program this, and I might do some more videos on it. Uh, where's that button? Oh, wow. So that is, uh, <laughs> I think this is the mode I should have been using all along, right? Next video, if we do another video on this program, we'll definitely use this. Uh, um, you can see the transform tool actually. It's actually quite easy to see. We get much smaller, we just put in, so that, that actually looks pretty decent. And the options here, reset, reset rotation 90, make square. Okay. So that gives it a pretty good effect as well. But yeah, um, so that, anyway, that's gonna do for this. Uh, oh, well, look at, interesting. Anyway, yeah, so anyway, so that is going to do for this. And I've got default channels as well, interesting. Bunch of cool stuff in this uh, program for sure. But that is going to do for this video. So thanks for watching.